Rolling off the back of the dive boat and dropping on down to the wreck of Cologne, you're struck with how big it is on the bottom, particularly as you approach that massive bow with its huge ram in front of it. It dwarfs you, and you really get a sense of this warship. Looking at the side, into what appeared to be a shell handling room for Cologne's guns, I could see empty racks where shells had once lined the walls. I could see equipment discarded in the silt. Looking up from the hull, you could see the guns lining the side of the vessel. And as we floated past them, you could see that these 57 millimeter guns, Cologne's secondary armament, were among the only weapons that the Spaniards had that day to fire back. Surveying the remains of Savannah's fleet continues to be an important activity even in this modern age, long after the battle war has passed. In examining these shell-ravaged hulls, we learn not only about the individual ships, but the conditions in which the crew struggled, fought, and died at a time when the world was changing dramatically and the balance of power was shifting from the old world to the new.